so good now. Blessed is our God, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Glory to you, our God, glory to you, heavenly King, Comforter, the Spirit of Truth. You are everywhere present, filling all things. Treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, a good one. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and bow, bow, bow down before God our King. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ God our King. Come, let us worship and bow down before Him, Christ our King and God. How beloved are your dwellings, O Lord of hosts! My soul longs and faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh greatly rejoice in the living God, for even the sparrow found a house for herself, and the turtle dove a nest for herself, where she will lay her young. Your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are those who dwell in your house. They shall praise you unto ages of ages. Blessed is the man whose help is from you, O Lord. He purposed a sense in his heart in the valley of weeping, into the place he appointed. For there the lawgiver shall give blessings. They shall go from strength to strength. The God of God shall be seen in Zion. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. O God, our protector, behold, and look upon the face of your anointed. For one day in your courts is better than a thousand. I chose to be an outcast in the house of my God, rather than to dwell in the tents of sinners. For the Lord God loves mercy and truth. He will give grace and glory. The Lord's hand will not remove good things from those who walk in innocence. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man who hopes in you. O Lord, you were pleased with your land. You turned back the captivity of Jacob. You forgave the transgressions of your people. You covered all their sins. You ended all your wrath. You turned from the wrath of your anger. Turn us, O God, of our salvation, and turn away your anger from us. Will you be angry with us forever, or will you prolong your anger from generation to generation? O God, you will turn and give us life, and your people will be glad in you. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. I will hear what the Lord God will speak in me, for he will speak peace to his people and to his holy ones, and to those who turn their heart to him. His salvation is very close at hand to those who fear him. The glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth meet together. Righteousness and peace kissed each other. Truth arose from the earth, and righteousness looked down from heaven. For the Lord will give goodness, and our land shall yield its fruit. Righteousness shall go before him and establish his footsteps as our pathway. Incline your ear, O Lord, and hear me, for I am poor and needy. Guard my soul, for I am holy. O my God, save your servant who hopes in you. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for all day long I will cry to you. Gladden the soul of your servant, O Lord, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, O Lord, are kind and good and very merciful to all who call upon you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer and heed the voice of my supplication. In the day of my affliction, I cried to you, for you heard me. There is none like you among the gods, O Lord, and there are no works like your works. All the Gentiles you made shall come and worship before you, O Lord, and they shall glorify your name. For you are great, doing wonders. You alone are the great God. Lead me in your way, O Lord, and I will walk in your truth. Gladden my heart so as to fear your name. I will give thanks to you, O Lord my God with my whole heart, and I shall glorify your name forever. For great is your mercy to me, and you rescued my soul from the lowest Hades. O God, lawless men rose up against me, and a gathering of strong men sought my soul, and they did not set you before them. But you, O Lord, are compassionate and merciful, long-suffering and very merciful and truthful. Look upon me and have mercy. Give your strength to your servant and save the Son of your handmaid. Work a sign in my midst for good, and let those who hate me see it and be disgraced. For you, O Lord, helped me and comforted me. Work a sign in my midst for good, and let those who hate me see it and be disgraced. 
For you, O Lord, helped me, and you comforted me. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, who at the ninth hour for our sakes tasted death in the flesh, mortify our frame of mind set on the flesh, and save us, O Christ our God. Let my supplication draw near before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your teaching. Lord, who at the ninth hour for our sakes tasted death in the flesh, mortify our frame of mind, set us on the flesh, and save us, O Christ our God. May my petition come before you. Deliver me according to your teaching. Lord, who at the ninth hour for our sakes tasted death in the flesh, mortify our frame of mind set on the flesh, and save us, O Christ our God. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Born of the Virgin, O good one, who who also endured crucifixion. Crucif crucifixion. crucifixion for our sake. Who by death took the spoils and of death and plunder and showed resurrection, being God, O oh, despite not the ones that you found formed with your own hand, demonstrate your love for man, O oh, Lord of mercy, and accept your mother, the Theotokos, who intercedes on our behalf, O oh, Savior, and save us, a dis despairing. despairing people. For your name's sake, do not hand us over to the end, and do not reject your co covenant. You will not withdraw your mercy from us for the sake of Abraham, who is loved by you, for the sake of Isaac, your servant, and of Israel, your holy one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And this is not a temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. When the robber saw the author of life hanging on the cross, he said, If he who is crucified with us were not God incarnate, the sun would not have hid its rays, nor would the earth have quaked and trembled. I pray you who endured everything, remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Between the two robbers, your cross was a, justice, was a balance of justice. One was weighed down to hell by the weight of his blasphemy. The other floated up from his sins to the knowledge of theology. O Christ God, glory to you, both now and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. When the mother of the Lamb and the shepherd and Savior of the world saw him on the cross, she uttered tearfully, The world rejoices at receiving redemption, but my insides are burning as I see your crucifixion, which you endured for all, O oh, my Son and my God. Kirelason, Kirelason, Kirelason. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Kirelason, Kirelason, Kirelason. Δόξα πατρί και ιό και αγίο πνεύματι, και νυν και αίν και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων αμήν. Τη τιμιωτέραν των χερουδίμ και ενδοξωτέρα σα συγκρίτω των σεραφίμ, την αδιαφόρο στεών λόγων τεκούσαν, την όντων στεωτόκων σε μεγαλύνομεν. Εν ονόματι κυρίου ευλόγησον πάτερ. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. O Lord and Master of my life, do not permit the spirit of laziness and meddling, the lust for power and idle talk to come into me. Instead, grant me, your servant, the spirit of prudence, humility, 
patience and love. Yes, Lord and King, give me the power to see my own faults and not to judge my brother, for you are blessed unto the ages of ages. O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who are long suffering in the face of our transgressions and have led us to the present hour in which, as you hung upon the life-giving tree, you made a, very, a way into paradise for the penitent robber and destroyed death by death. Cleanse us, your humble, sinful, and unworthy servants, for we have sinned and transgressed and are worthy to lift, not worthy to lift up our eyes and look at the height of heaven. We have abandoned the path of righteousness and followed the desires of our hearts. So we implore your incomparable goodness. Spare us, O Lord, according to the abundance of your mercy. And save us for your holy name's sake, for our days have passed in vanity. Rescue us from the hand of the adversary and forgive our sins and mortify our minds still in the flesh, so that we may put off the old man, be clothed with the new, and live for you, our master and benefactor. And thus may we follow your commandments and arrive at the eternal rest where the dwelling is of all those who rejoice. For you are the true joy and exaltation of those who love you, Christ our God. And we send up glory to you and to your unoriginate Father and your all holy, good, and life-giving spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In your kingdom, remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Blessed are you when men revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember us, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember us, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. The heavenly choir extols you and says, Holy, 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 Lord Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Come to him and be enlightened, and your face shall never be ashamed. The heavenly choir extols you and says, Holy, 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 Lord Sabaoth, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The choir of holy angels and archangels, with all the heavenly powers, extols you and says, Holy, 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 Lord Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of your glory, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, but one is with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, 
I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Pardon, remit, forgive, O oh God, our offenses, both voluntary and involuntary, in deed and word and knowledge and ignorance, by night and day, in mind and thought. Forgive us all things, since you are good and loving God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Επί του όρου μεταμορφωθή και ω εχώρουν οι μαθητέ σου την δόξα σου, Χριστέ ο Θεό αθεάσαντο, ή να όταν σε είδο συσταυρούμενων, το μεν πάθο νοήσω συνεκούσιον, το δε κόσμο κηρύξωσιν, ότι εσύ υπάρχει, αληθώ του πατρό το απόαυγασμα. Ο υψωθή εν το σταυρό εκουσίω, τη επωνύμω σου καινή πολιτεία, του εκτιρμού σου δόρισε Χριστέ ο Θεό. Έφρανον εν τη δυνάμει σου, του πιστού βασιλίσιμων, νίκα χορηγό αυτέ, κατά των πολεμίων, τη συμμαχίαν έχειεν, τη συν, όπλο ειρήνη, αίτη των τρόπιων. Ω holy martyrs, you became unwavering travelers on the narrow and hard way. For you endured the storm of temptations, and you adopted the way of life of the bodiless ministers. You proved to be the rock of patience and foundations of true belief. Intercede with Christ our God on behalf of our souls. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With the saints, give rest, O Christ, to the souls of your servants, where there is no pain, nor sorrow, nor suffering, but life everlasting both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O protection of Christians that never falls, intercession of the Creator that never fails, we sinners beg you, do not ignore the voices of our prayers. O good lady, we implore you, quickly come to our aid when we cry out to you with faith. Hurry to intercession and hasten to supplication, O Theotokos, who protect now and ever those who honor you. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. O Christ our God, who at all times and at every hour, both in heaven and on earth, are worshipped and glorified, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy and compassion, who love the just and show mercy to sinners, who call all men to salvation through the promise of blessings to come, do you, the same Lord, receive also our supplications at this present time and direct our lives according to your commandments. Sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, set our minds right, clear up our thoughts, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and distress. Surround us with your holy angels so that being guarded and guided by their presence, we may arrive at the unity of the faith of the knowledge of your ineffable glory. For blessed are you unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos. You do we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. May God have compassion on us and bless us. May his face shine upon us and have mercy on us. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Kitty Layson, Kitty Layson, Kitty Layson, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Kitty Layson, Kitty Layson, Kitty Layson. All Holy Trinity, the consubstantial dominion, the indivisible rule and cause for every good, be well pleased even with regard to me, a sinner. Strengthen my heart and grant it understanding and take away all my defilement, illumine my mind so that I may ever glorify, praise, worship, and say, One is holy, one is Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Father bless. Glory to you, O Christ our God. Glory to you. May Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all pure and all immaculate Holy Mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praise with the apostles of the holy glorious and triumphant martyrs, 
of our righteous and God-bearing fathers, of St. Christ the Martyr, of the Holy and Righteous Answers of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, who is good and merciful and loves mankind. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and bow down before God our King. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ God, our King. Come, let us worship and bow down before Him, Christ, our King and God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord, my God. You are magnified exceedingly. You clothe yourself with thanksgiving and majesty, who cover yourself with light as with a garment, who stretch out the heavens like a curtain, you are he who covers his upper chambers with water, who makes the clouds he, his mean of, of approach. He walks on the wings of the wind, who makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. He establishes the earth on its stable foundation. It shall not be moved unto ages of ages. The deep like a garment is his covering. The water shall stand upon the mountain. At your rebuke, they shall flee. At the sound of your thunder, they shall be afraid. The mountains rise up. The plains sink down to the place you founded for them. You set a boundary. They shall not pass over. Neither shall they return to cover the earth. You are he who sends springs into the valley. The waters shall pass between the mountains. They shall give drink to all the wild animals of the field. The wild asses shall quench their thirst. The birds of the heavens shall dwell with, beside them. They shall sing from the midst of the rocks. You are he who waters the mountains from his higher places. The earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of your works. You are he who causes grass to grow for the cattle and the green plants for the service of men, to bring forth bread from the earth and wine gladdens the heart of man, to brighten his face with oil and bread strengthens man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be full of fruit, the cedars of Lebanon, which you planted. There the sparrows shall make their nests. The house of the heron takes the lead among them. The high mountains are for the deer. The cliff is a refuge for the rabbits. He made the moon for seasons. The sun knows its setting. You established darkness, and it was night, wherein all the wild animals of the forest will prowl about. The young lions roar and snatch their prey and seek their food from God. The sun arises, and they are gathered together, and they shall, put to bed in, they shall be put to bed in their dens. Man shall go out to his work and to his labor until evening. O Lord, your work shall be magnified greatly. You made all things in wisdom. The earth was filled with your creation. This is the great and spacious sea. The creeping things are there without number. The living things are there, both small and great. There the ships pass through. There is this dragon you formed to play therein. All things wait upon you, that you may give them food in due season. When you give it to them, they shall gather it. When you open your hand, all things shall be filled with your goodness. But when you turn your face away, they shall be troubled. When you take away their breath, they shall die and return again to their dust. You shall send forth your spirit and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be forever. The Lord shall be glad in his works. He looks upon the earth and makes it tremble. He touches the mountains, and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord all my life. I will sing to my God all, as long as I exist. May my words be pleasing to him, and I shall be glad in the Lord. Many sinners cease from the earth, and the lawless so as to be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun knows its setting. You established darkness, and, in, and it was night. O Lord, your work shall be magnified greatly. You made all things in wisdom. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. 
Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. And it in it to they full man. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for those who entered with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For Archbishop Alexius, for the Honorable President, for the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Christu imon stratu tu kiriu Amen. For the great and holy Church of Christ, for our holy archdiocese, for this city and parish, for every city and land, and for the faith who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Iper pleon dono di purundon no sundon cap noton ek maloton ke tu soteria sapton tu kiriu dei thomen. For our deliverance from all affliction, rat danger, distress, and the peril of coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. Iper ton alafoni monton katatis no su tu coroniu agonizomenon yatron is alafton ke pistimonon tu kiriu dei thomen. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and our Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Προς Κύριον εν το θλίβε θέσε, εκέκραξα και εισήκουσέ με Κύριε, ρίσε την ψυχή μου από χειλαίων αδίκων και από γλώσσης δολίας. Τι δοθήσει και τι προσθέησει προς γλώσσαν δολίαν, τα βέλη του δυνατού, εικονημένα, συν της άνθραξη της ερημικής. Ήμι ότι η παρικία μου εμακρύνθη, κατεσκήνωσα μετά των σκηνωμάτων κυδά. Πολλά παρήκωσεν η ψυχή μου, μετά των μισούντων την ειρήνην ημίν ειρηνικός, όταν ελάλουν αυτοίς, επολέμουμε δωρεάν. I lifted my eyes to the mountains, from where shall my help come? <clears throat> my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Let not your foot be moved, neither let him who keeps your slumber, you slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel is, shall, shall neither slum, slumber nor sleep. The Lord shall keep you. The Lord is your shelter at your right hand. The sun shall not burn you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall keep you from all evil. The Lord shall keep you, keep your soul. The Lord shall keep your coming and your going out from his present time unto the ages. I was glad when they said to me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet stand in your courts, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city whose compactness is complete. There the tribes went up, the tribes of the Lord, a testimony to Israel to give thanks to the name of the Lord. For thrones sat there for judgment, thrones over the house of David. Ask now for things regarding the peace of Jerusalem, and there is prosperity for those who love you. Let there now be peace in your power and prosperity in your citadels. For the sake of my brothers and my neighbors, I indeed spoke peace concerning you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I sought good things for you. I lift up my eyes to you who dwell in heaven. Behold, as the eyes of servants look to the hands of their masters, as the eyes of the maidservant look to the hands of her mistress, 
So our eyes look to the Lord our God until he shall have compassion on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us, for we are greatly filled with contempt. Our soul is greatly filled with it. We are a disgrace to those who prosper and a contempt to the arrogant. If the Lord had not been with us, let Israel now say, if the Lord had not been with us when men rose up against us, then they would have swallowed us alive. When their anger raged against us, then the water would have drowned us. Our soul would have passed through a torrent. Then our soul would have passed through a water that is overwhelming. Blessed is the Lord who did not give us as prey to their teeth. Our soul was delivered like a sparrow from the snare of the hunters. The snare was broken, and we were delivered. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and our Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. O ti sonto kratus ke susteni vasilia ke dinamis ke doxu tu patros ke tu yuk tu pener matos nin ke ai ke istu seonas to neonon. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion. He who dwells in Jerusalem shall be unshaken forever. The mountains surround her, and the Lord surrounds his people. From this present time and into the ages, the Lord will not permit the rod of sinners to be upon the inheritance of the righteous, lest the righteous stretch out their hands in lawlessness. Do good, O Lord, to the, to the good and to the upright in heart. But those who turn aside to crooked ways, the Lord shall lead away with the workers of the lawless. lawlessness. Peace be upon Israel. When the Lord returned the captives of Zion, we became like those who are comforted. When our mouth was filled with joy and our tongue was ex, ex and our tongue was exceeding joy, then then they shall say among the Gentiles, Gentile, the Lord did great things with them. The Lord has done great things with us. We are glad. We were glad. Return, O God, our captivity like streams to the south. Those who show those who sow with tears with tears shall reap with exceeding joy they went forth and wept carrying their seeds with them but they shall return with exceeding joy carrying their sheaves unless the lord builds the house those who build it labor in vain unless the lord guard the city those who guard it stay awake in vain it is vain for you to rise early, to awaken from your rest, you who eat the bread of grief, when he gives his beloved ones sleep. Behold, children are the Lord's inheritance, the fruit of the womb his reward. Like arrows in the hand of the mighty one, so are the children of those who were outcasts. Blessed is the man who shall fulfill his desire with them. They shall not be ashamed when they speak to their enemies at the gate. Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. You shall eat the fruits of your labor. You are blessed, and it shall be well with you. Your wife shall be like a vine prospering on the sides of your house, your children like newly planted olive trees around your table. Behold, so shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, and may you see the good things of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. Many times they warred against me from my youth, let Israel now say. Many times they warred against me from my youth, yet they did not overcome me. The sinners schemed behind my back, they prolonged their lawlessness. The righteous Lord cut in pieces the necks of sinners. Let all who hate Zion be shamed and turned back. Let them become like grass on the housetops, which withers before it is plucked up. Like grass with which the reaper does not fill his hand, nor the gatherer of sheaves his bosom. Neither did those who passed by say to them, 
The Lord's blessing be upon you. In the Lord's name we bless you. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Etiquette in the Nitukiri Ude, Thoman. And the love of us, son of the son, care the Felix and the master, the host, his hearty. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious lady that he'll talk us in every may with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For you are good and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Out of the depths I have cried to you, O Lord. O Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If you, O Lord, should mark transgression, O Lord, who would stand? For there is forgiveness with you. Because of your law, O Lord, I waited for you. My soul waited for your word. My soul hopes in the Lord. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch until night, let Israel hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is abundant redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all his transgressions. O Lord, my heart is not, is not exalted, neither are my eyes raised up, neither am I carrying along in great things, nor in things too marvelous for me. If I were not humble-minded, but exalted my soul, like a child weaned from his mother, you would reward my soul. Let Israel hope in the Lord from his present times, time until unto the ages. Remember David, O Lord, and all his meekness, how he swore to the Lord, how he vowed to the God of Jacob, I shall not enter my dwelling, I shall not recline on my bed, I shall not close my eyes in sleep, nor my eyelids for dozing, nor give any rest to my temples until I find a place for the Lord, a tabernacle for the God of Jacob. Behold, we heard it in Ephrathah. We found it in the plains of the wood. Let us enter into his tabernacles. Let us worship at the place where his feet stood. Arise, O Lord, in your rest, you and the ark of your holiness. Your priests shall clothe themselves in righteousness. Your saints shall greatly rejoice. For your servant David's sake, do not turn away from the face of your anointed. The Lord swore to David this truth, and he shall not reject it. I shall set upon your throne one the one from the fruit of your loins. If your sons keep my covenant and these testimonies I shall teach them, then their sons shall sit upon your throne forever. From the Lord, for the Lord has chosen Zion. He chose her for his dwelling. This is my place of rest unto the ages of ages. Here I shall dwell, for I have chosen her. Blessing I shall bless her provision. I shall satisfy her poor with bread. I shall clothe her priests with salvation, and her saints shall rejoice exceedingly with great joy. There I shall cause to spring up a horn for David. There I prepared a lamp for my anointed. His enemies I shall clothe with shame. Upon him shall my sanctification flourish. <laughs> Τον πόγωνα του Ααρών, το καταβαίνουν επί την αιωάν του ενδύματο αυτού. Ω δρόσο αερμών, η καταβαίνουση επί τα όρισιών, ότι εκεί είναι τύλατο, κύριο την ευλογία, ζωή έω του αιώνο. Bless now, behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. In the nights, lift up your hands to the Holy of Holies and bless the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, he who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Doxasi, O Theos. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, our God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. Amen. 
Lord have mercy. <coughs> into their own net, I am alone until I escape. I fell among the robbers of my thoughts and my mind was stripped, wretch that I am. I was badly beaten and every part of my soul is wounded. Here I lie half dead on the highway of life, naked of any virtues. A priest saw me bruised and hurting and thinking me incurable, he overlooked me and did not take care of me. A Levite could not stand my soul destroying suffering and he looked down and passed by on the other side. But you, O Christ God, who were well pleased not to come from Samaria, but to the incarnate of Mary, in your love for humanity, grant me healing and pour on me the oil of your great mercy. I cried to the Lord with my voice. With my voice I prayed to the Lord. I fell among the robbers of my thoughts, and my mind was stripped, wretch that I am. I was badly beaten, and every part of my soul is wounded. Here I lie half dead on the highway of life, naked of any virtues. A priest saw me, bruised and hurting, and thinking me incurable, he overlooked me and did not take care of me. A Levite could not stand my soul-destroying suffering, and he looked down and passed by on the other side. But you, O Christ God, who were well pleased not to come from Samaria, but to be incarnate of Mary, Mary in your love for humanity, Grant me healing and pour on me the oil of your great mercy. I shall pour out my supplication before him. I shall declare my affliction in his presence. If there be virtue, if there be praise, it is fitting for the martyrs, for they bow down their necks to the broadsword for you, who bow down, who bowed the heavens and descended. They spilled their blood for you, who emptied yourself and took the form of a servant they let themselves be humbled even unto death in limitation of your poverty in imitation of your prop of your poverty so according to the multitude of your tender mercies through their prayers O god have mercy on us the 
Lord, even if when my spirit fainted within me, then you knew my past. Lord, your apostles and most sacred, sacred disciples were shown to be rational, to be rational, rational heavens, hearing their divine intercessions, intercessions free me from the evils of the earth. I pray you now exalt my thoughts each day through Lenten abstinence. abstinence to understanding of your passion as you are merciful and love mankind. I looked on my right and saw there was no one who knew me, apostles extolled by all, intercessors for the world, physicians of the sick and the guardians of health, preserve us in soul and body as we gallop through the time of Lent. Keep us at peace with one another as our God commands and preserve our minds untroubled by the passions so that we may all sing a hymn of praise to Christ, the victor who rose from the dead. Refuge failed me and there was no one who cared for my soul. All of my life has been spent with harlots and is wasted keeping company with the publicans. But in old age will I find the power to live in repentance for all my grievous sins. So now I cry out, my maker, to you who heal those in sickness. Save me before I utterly perish, O Lord my God. I cried to you, O Lord, I said, you are my hope, my portion in the land of the living. Being oppressed and gripped by indifference, I allowed myself to wallow in every kind of filth. And since the devil's arrows have pierced me, God's own image in me has therefore been defiled. You who corrected the indifferent and who redeemed the defeated, save me before I utterly perish, O Lord my God. Attend to my supplication, for I was humbled exceedingly. Clay is the substance you used to form me, and clay I remain, becoming a stumbling block for men. Lord, I was married to your commandments, but I have transgressed them and defiled, defiled my bed. With clay you made, you, with clay you make and you fashion. You not dis, do not despise your creation. Say me before I utterly perish, O Lord my God. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. Death is the sentence I gave my own soul, but I have provided everything that my flesh could want. I was appointed to mock the demons, but I am enslaved by absurdities and lust. In your compassion, please spare me, you who drive off hordes of demons. Save me before I utterly perish, O Lord my God. Bring my soul out of prison to give thanks to your name, O Lord. Excess in sin beyond other people by my own free choice has led me to be abandoned now. I have become my soul's worst opponent and am in the dark with my mind set on the flesh. O light of those in the darkness and guide to those who have wandered, save me before I utterly perish, O Lord my God. The righteous shall wait for me until you reward me. Famously, David the prophet said once, Lord, my soul shall live, and furthermore, it shall praise you too. Come search for me, for I am a lost sheep, and let me be numbered among your chosen flock. May I have time for repentance, so that to you I might cry out, Save me before I utterly perish, O Lord my God. Out of the depths I have cried to you, O Lord, O Lord, hear my voice. God, I have sinned, I have sinned against you. O my Christ, I disobeyed your commandments carelessly. O benefactor, show me your mercy so that I might gain vision with my inner eyes and thus depart from the darkness. Trembling in fear as I cry, as I cry out, save me before I utterly perish, O Lord my God. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. Hor horrid wild creatures have me surrounded. Master, come and snatch me out of the midst of their attack. You wish salvation for all your people and for them to come to the knowledge of the truth. Lord, as your, as 
our common creator. I pray let me be saved with them. Save me before I utterly perish, O Lord my God. If you, O Lord, should mark transgression, O Lord, who would stand? For there is forgiveness with you. In your great mercy, O benefactor, my redeemer and my savior, become my healing now. Look at me lying in my transgressions, and with your abundance of power, raise me up so I can make a confession of all my actions and cry out, Save me before I utterly perish, O Lord my God. Because of your law, O Lord, I waited for you. My soul waited for your word. My soul hopes in the Lord. Just like that famously foolish servant, I have also gone and buried the talent given me. And so I also am judged as worthless and no longer dare to approach you with my pleas. But pity me with your patience so that once more I can cry out, Save me before I utterly perish, O Lord my God. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch until night, let Israel hope in the Lord. Knowing the hem of your garment dried up, that poor woman's bloody issue when she touched it in faith, I likewise know that if I approach you with a faith unshaken, you will forgive my sins. As you received her, receive me and bring relief to my anguish. Save me before I utterly perish, O Lord my God. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is abundant redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all his transgressions. Lord, you will soon take the throne for judgment. You who by your word created the heavens and the earth, and soon we will all sh we all shall stand in your presence, and the time will come for us to announce our sins. Before that day is upon us, accept me in my repentance. Save me before I utterly perish, O oh my Lord and God. Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles. Praise him, all you peoples. My only Savior, look with compassion on your servant and be moved to be merciful to me. Pour out the streams of your gracious healing over the pathetic and wrenched little soul. Wipe off the filth, filth of my actions so that in song I may cry out, Save me before I perish, Lord my God. For his mercy rules over us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Now that the devil's sword has been sharpened, he will waste no time to hunt down and trap my humble soul. Merciful Lord, he made me a stranger to the light of knowledge of your bright countenance. You who are mighty in power, save me from all his devices. Save me before I utterly perish, O Lord my God. I lift up my eyes to you who dwell in heaven. Behold, as the eyes of servants look to the hands of their masters, as the eyes of the maidservant look to the hands of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God until he shall have compassion on us. Oh, how the passions have all enslaved me. I abandon all the laws and the scriptures of my God. O oh, benefactor, heal me completely. O oh, good one, it was you who became like me for me. Now bring me back in your mercy. For you destroy all the passions. Save me before I utterly perish, O Lord my God. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us, for we are greatly filled with contempt. Our soul is greatly filled with it. We are a disgrace to those who prosper and a contempt to the arrogant. Pouring her tears out in great abundance, that famed harlot washed and dried off your pure and precious feet, urging all people to come and draw near as to receive the forgiveness of their sins. Grant me her faith, O my Savior, so that with haste I might cry out, Save me before I utterly perish, O Lord my God. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. Quickly attend to my soul and cleanse it, you who for my sake became poor by being born of flesh. And you send forth your showers of mercy on those who are weakened and broken. O my Christ, now wash away what is filthy and heal the one who is hurting. Save me before I utterly perish, O Lord my God. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. Ready and strengthen my soul, O Master, so that it will always run to you and serve you in faith. You are my guardian and my protection. You are my defender and are my help as well. Enable me to be worthy, O God, and word. 
in word I, and to cry boldly, save me before I utterly perish, O Lord my God. Glory to you, O God, glory to you. Savior, my Jesus, our God of mercy, be for us a wall and rampart that never will be breached. Facing deceitful methods and actions, yes, we have succumbed, falling down, but raise us up, for you, for you will help your creation and reconcile with compassion. Save me before I utterly perish, O Lord my God. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. Taking the prodigal's path, I scattered all my wealth, and now I'm wasting away from lack of food. So I am fleeing to you for refuge and for your protection. Good Father, take me in. Grant me a place at your table so that I might worthy, so that made worthy I might say, Save me before I utterly perish, O Lord my God. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. Using the trick of envy, the devil cast the first made man from paradise quite successfully. But then that day on the cross, the robber entered paradise with his words, Remember me. So being fearful and faithful, I cried, Remember me, like him. Save me before I utterly perish, O Lord my God. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. Venture your hand to grasp mine like Peter's, and to draw me up, O God, from the perils of the deep. Grant me the gift of your grace and mercy at the intercessions of the all-spotless maid who without seed gave birth to you and of your saints from all ages. Save me before I utterly perish, O Lord my God. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. With every day that comes I am chanting, Lord, you are the Lamb of God who takes all my sins away. Into your hands I commit my being. Yes, my soul and body entirely are yours. Throughout the night and the daytime, as it is fitting, I cry out, Save me before I utterly perish, O Lord my God. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. Excellent, past all means of expression, is your great compassion, Lord, who have patience and to spare. O oh, you who have no sin but great mercy, I plead, do not cast me out from before your face, so that with joy and thanksgiving I may break forth into chanting. Save me before I utterly perish, O oh Lord my God. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. You, God and Maker, have condescended to become incarnate through novel childbirth. How did a virgin conceive and bear you? This is so amazing. Oh, how ineffable is your sublime condescension. Oh, our divine benefactor, save me before I utterly perish, O oh Lord, my God. Nightfall, dawn, and noon, we sing to you, we bless you, we give thanks to you, and we beseech you, Master of all, Lord and Maker of mankind. Guide our prayers aright as an offering of incense before you. Let not our hearts be led to wicked thoughts or deeds, but deliver us from all those who pursue our souls. For it is you, Lord, Lord, that our eyes are fixed, and in you we have our hope. Do not put us to shame, O our God. Wisdom arise. O gladsome light of holy glory of the holy, blessed, heavenly, immortal Father, O Jesus Christ, arriving at the hour of sunset and having seen the evening light, we praise the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. God, it is worthy for you to be praised at all times with happy voices, O Son of God and giver of life, and therefore the world glorifies you. The evening. The Lord is the God of vengeance, the God of vengeance. Be exalted, O you who judge the earth. The reading is from the book of Genesis. Wisdom, let us be attentive. When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, I am your God. Be pleasing before me and blameless. I will establish my covenant between me and you and will multiply you exceedingly. 
Then Abram fell on his face, and God talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with you, and you shall be a father of many nations. No longer shall your name be called Abram, but your name shall be Abraham, for I have made you a father of many nations. I will make you exceedingly fruitful, and I will make nations of you, and kings shall come from you. I will establish my covenant between me and you, and your seed after you in their generations, for an everlasting covenant to be your God, and the God of your seed after you. Also, I will give you and your seed after you the land that you are occupying as a sojourner, all the land of Canaan as an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. Then God said to Abraham, As for you, you shall keep my covenant, you and your seed after you, throughout their generations. O oh, sing a new song to the Lord, sing to the Lord, bless his name. Come and... Wisdom arise, Fos Christu Feni the light of Christ shines upon all. The reading is from the Proverbs of Solomon. Wisdom, let us be attentive. A wise son gladdens a father, but a son without discernment treats his mother with contempt. The paths of one without understanding are in need of discernment, but a man with discernment walks uprightly. Those not honoring counsels defer their deliberations, but counsel remains in the hearts of those who resolve to do it. The evil man will not obey counsel, nor will he speak anything appropriate, even something for the common good. The thoughts of a wise man are his ways of life, that he might turn aside and be saved from Hades. The Lord will destroy the houses of the arrogant, but he will strengthen the boundary of a widow. The thinking of the unrighteous man is an abomination to the Lord. But the words of the holy are sacred. He who receives bribes utterly destroys himself, but he who hates the receiving of bribes saves himself. Sins are cleansed by almsgiving and faithfulness, and by the fear of the Lord everyone turns aside from evil. The hearts of the righteous care about faithfulness, but the mouth of the ungodly answers evil things. The ways of righteous men are acceptable before the Lord, and through them even enemies become friends. God is far from the ungodly, but he hears the prayers of the righteous. The eye that beholds good things gladdens the heart, but a good report enriches the bones. He who rejects instruction hates himself, but he who gives heed to reproofs loves his soul. The fear of God is instruction and wisdom, and the beginning of glory will respond to it. All the works of the humble are evident before the Lord, but the ungodly will be destroyed in the evil day. Every high-hearted man is unclean before the Lord, and he who joins hands with the unrighteous will not go unpunished. The beginning of a good day, of a good way, is to do righteous things, and this is more acceptable to God than to offer sacrifices. He who seeks the Lord will find knowledge with righteousness, and those who seek him rightly will find peace. All the works of the Lord are with righteousness, but the ungodly man is kept for an evil day. Better is a small yield with the righteous than abundant fruits with the unrighteous. Let the heart of a man think righteous things, that he may make his steps straight unto God. Let my prayer be set forth before you as incense. The lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Kiria kekra se prose sakuson mu, isakuson mu, kiria kiria kekra se prose sakuson mu, pros yes, pros yes. Tiphonitis de Isiosmu, antique Grayene me prosem.
Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth, a door of His disclosure about my lips. Clinistin cardian mu is logus ponerias tu prosfasis este profasis en amorties. to the Father and to the Son of the Holy Spirit, both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Complete our evening prayer to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you as hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for pious and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you, our merciful God, who loves mankind, you we offer up glory to the Father and to the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Catechumens pray to the Lord. That the Lord will have mercy on them, that he will teach them the word of truth that he will reveal to them the gospel of righteousness, that he will unite them to his holy Catholic and apostolic church, save them, have mercy on them, help them and protect them, O God, by your grace. Catechumens, bow your heads to the Lord. O God, O God, creator and maker of all, you wish all to be saved and to come to the knowledge of truth. Look upon your servants, the catechumens, and free them from the old air and the devices of the adversary and call them to life eternal, illuminating their souls and bodies, and numbering them among your rational flock over whom your holy name is evoked, so that with us they may glorify your most honored and majestic name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Inakefti sinimin toksazu si to pandimon ke megalopres onmasu to patroske to yuket yu pnevmatos nin ke ai ke istuseonas toneonon. 
O si katuhumeni pro altete, katuhumeni pro altete, o si prosto fotisma pro saltete, saste i prosto fotisma tu kiriu dei. Amen. Let us, the faithful, pray to the Lord for our brethren who are preparing for holy illumination for their salvation. That the Lord our God establish and strengthen them, let us pray to the Lord. That he illumine them with the light of your knowledge and piety, let us pray to the Lord. That he may make them worthy in due time of the baptism of regeneration, the remission of sins, and the robe of incorruption, let us pray to the Lord. That he may grant them the perfection of faith, let us pray to the Lord. That he may number them among his holy and chosen flock, let us pray to the Lord. So son eleison, anti la vuca di afilexon, aftus otheos tisi haditi. Those who are preparing for illumination, bow your heads to the Lord. Master, shine your face on those who are preparing for holy illumination, who strongly desire to shake off the defilement of sin, clear their mind, confirm them in faith, strengthen them in hope, perfect them in love, make them precious members of your Christ, who gave himself as ransom for our souls. O tisio fotismos simon, que se doxan on a pembleman, to patrica to yo, que tu pembleman, que ai, que estu seo on a strone, o no. All who are ready for illumination depart, you who are ready for illumination depart, all those who are catechumens depart, let none of the catechumens remain again and again in peace. Let us, all of us, the faithful, pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, protect us, O God, by your grace. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, protect us, O God, by your grace. Wisdom. O God, great and praiseworthy, who through the life-giving death of your Christ brought us from corruption to gain corruption, set free all our senses from deadly passions, setting over them as a good guide the understanding that is within us. Let our eyes abstain from evil sights, our hearing from idle talk, and our tongue cleanse from unsuitable speech. Purify our lips that sing your praises, O Lord. Let our hands abstain from evil acts and produce only works that are pleasing to you, safeguarding by your grace all our limbs and mind. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Etiquette in the name of the Kiriu de Thome. Andi la vuso, son or laison, kedi, if you look son of Maso de Osti, Sikhariti, Sophia. Holy and exceedingly good Master, we beseech you who are rich in mercy, be gracious with us sinners and make us worthy of receiving your only begotten Son and our God, the King of glory. For behold, his most pure body and life-giving blood entering this hour are to be placed on this mystical table, invisibly escorted by a multitude of unseen heavenly hosts. Grant that we may blamelessly partake of them so that having been illumined by them, we may become children of the light and of the day. Through the gift of your Christ, with whom you are blessed together, your all holy, good, and life-giving spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen.
Through the prayers of the Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Through the prayers of the Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Through the prayers of the Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Through the prayers of the Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer to the Lord. Lord For the precious and pre-sanctified gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord That our God, who loves mankind, having accepted them at his holy and celestial and mystical altars, and offering his spiritual fragrance, may return sent down upon us the divine gift, grace, and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. For that which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. Tony Poli pon chronon ti sui simon en edini kemeteni ek telese para tu kiriu eti sometan. Christiana tateli ti sui simon ano de nana peskin dari nikake kalina polo yen ti nepi tu for veru vi metos tu ristu eti sometan. Having asked for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Simon <laughs> Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino. Hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día y perdona nuestras ofensas, así como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos dejes caer en tentación y líbranos de todo el mal. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Irini Pasi. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. Through the grace, compassion, and love for mankind, of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together you are a holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Proskomen ta proyesmeni mena ayatisayis, the holy presanctified gifts for the holy people of God.
with fear of God, with faith and with love, draw near. God, save your people and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the Peace heavenly the God spirit. The we have found the truth. Peace all to the God above the heavens and let your glory be of all the earth. Peace all to the God above the heavens and let your glory be of all the earth. Arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, creating and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless evening, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ, our God. To you, O Lord. Blessed is our God, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. How we thank you, O Lord, Savior of us all, for you are the good things that you've given us since the communion of your holy body and blood of your Christ, and we pray to you, loving Master, protect us under the covering of your wings, and that may worthy partake of your blessings to the end of our days for the remission of our soul and body and to inherit the kingdom of heaven. For you are God, and to you we give glory to the Father and to the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Almighty Master, you created the universe in wisdom. By your ineffable forethought and great goodness, you led us to these sacred days for cleansing of souls and bodies, for subduing passions, and for hope of resurrection. For 40 days, you shaped the tablets written with godlike characters for your servant Moses. Grant also to us, good Lord, to fight the good fight, to finish the course of the fast to keep the faith whole, to shatter the heads of unseen dragons, and to show ourselves victorious over sin, and to arrive blamelessly without condemnation, to worship also your holy resurrection. For blessed and glorified is your honor and magnificent name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth unto the ages. Dona Makiri Ui Evo Imenon Apotunin Keos Tueonon.
Kiriu Dei Thoma, 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 Kiriu Dei Thoma,